Welcome to Njenje Media TV. This is a channel where we explore the truth behind the headlines you read every single day. IPOP, that is the indigenous people of Biafra, at last has written the southeastern governors, give them conditions for peace to reign in the southeast. These conditions as according to IPOB, is a condition if met, they would once more regard them as their leaders. They would once more regard them as their fathers. Go and grab your seat. And if possible, if you're within Nigeria, go get yourself one bottle of Ompa, that is the hero beer, or get yourself one keg of palm wine. Let us sit down and listen to IPOB. Once more, this is Njenje Media TV. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, has written the southeastern governors, giving them conditions and what they should do for peace to reign between them. On one side, and for the masses of the southeast, to have trust and confidence in them. Writing through their lawyer, Aloy Ejimako, who is also the special counsel to the indigenous people of Biafra and its leader, Mazen Nam Dekano. The Biafran Agitation Group, that is the IPOB, said that the Southeast governor's denial of the, of the briefed or otherwise complicit in the 2017 Operation Python Dance, that is the military exercise in the Southeast, which allegedly led to the loss of many lives, does not hold waters. IPOP is not mincing what's here. If you remember, Njenje Media brought to you the reply and the comments made by the Southeastern governors last week Saturday after they met in Enugu when they declared headsmen movement in the Southeast a no-go area. When they banned cow movement in the Southeast, when they reached that infamous or rather that famous which everybody agreed decision that there should be an air patrol patrolling the southeast and the Fulani headsmen shall no longer move with cows. Now the letter was titled Operation Python Dance, an open letter to the Southeast Governors, which excludes Imo State Governor Honorable Emeka Ihedioha, which was made available to newsmen by IPOP Media and Publicity Secretary Emma Powerful. He asked the Southeastern governors to, instead of denying that they are not aware and the knowledge and in the involvement in the military exercise, they should gather together like they did before to de proscribe IPOP and render sincere public apology for their alleged hurriedly resorting to a, a course of action that was wrong and dangerous in all ramifications. IPOP also told the Southeastern governors that before anybody believed their recent alleged contrite assertion that they were not briefed or otherwise complicit in the 2017 Operation Python Dance, the military exercise, as it were, they must write the National Assembly, informing it that it is now their reconsidered position that the president had violated the constitution by launching the combat military operation in the states and against their people without first declaring a state of emergency as required by law, according to section 305 of the Nigerian constitution. If you guys again recall in the media here analyzing, in the wake of 2017, from nowhere, the people of Southeast saw helicopters, military helicopters, hovering around Afaruku. If you also remember, in the same time, Nigeria Union of Journalists office in Omaha, Abarut, was ransacked and attacked. Journalists who were reporting the happenings in Afaruku, that is Nandikanu's hometown, 
were beaten. IPOP members taken. Made to sleep, drink in the ready mold in Omaha before the final invasion. And this is what IPOP is saying that the governors must write the National Assembly in order to prove that they are genuine. The letter continues. The group letter also urged the Southeastern governors to go back to the dialogue they were having with Mazen and the Kano back early September 2017, which was allegedly unilaterally and summarily ended and followed with the prescription that allegedly stigmatized the people of the Southeast and watered the ground for many for many federal government unconstitutional actions, including the declaration that millions of unarmed Igbo are terrorists. It also told the governors that once they once they you begin to earnestly take these steps we have suggested for them, Ndibo will reconsider just as they will begin to see them as men possessing the requisite courage and sincerity for to be accepted as their true leaders. Only then will Ndibo come anywhere close to believing that they had nothing to do with Operation Python Dance. All its horrendous aftermath. It continues. Only then will the bereaved families will be consoled over the undeserving deaths, sorrow and destruction against their beloved ones. Before anyone can believe the recent contrite assertion that you were not briefed or otherwise complicit in the 2017 Python dance by the military that acclaimed the lives of your innocent citizens, the lives of your sons, daughters and children, you need to do more, including but not limited to the following recommendations. You must, as you did in 2017, gather together and deproscribe IPOV and then render a heartfelt sincere apology for the hurriedly resorting to a course of action that was wrong and dangerous in all its ramifications. You must go on record by writing to the National Assembly that it is now your reconsidered position that the President violated the Constitution, Section 305 of the Constitution, thereby committing a gross misconduct that should trigger the felt consequences of Section 143b. That is, you must go back to the constructive dialogue you were already having with Nandekano back in early 2017. Again, as you know, IPOP also told the governors that if Operation Python Dance was constitutional, you would not be spiritedly disclaiming it as they, as they are now doing. Instead, be condoning it, defending it, or even calling for more of it. Since you are now disclaiming the exercise, you must therefore instruct your attorney generals to join in the still pending suit filed by, filed by Alibo Development Foundation, ADF. Remember, Iwekunye Initiative, led by Mazi Ezoke, also has a case in the ICC, International Criminal Court, and also in the Federal High Court in Aba against the Operation Python Dance and the Igbo youth killed thereof. A declaration that Operation Python Dance was unconstitutional by filing a, a joinder or even a friend of the court, brief you must insist on a judicial inquiry on that atrocities committed during the said Python Dance to legally establish the actual number of fatalities, injuries, displacement and other collateral damages with a view of taking penal actions against all corporate, whether in command and control or line of staff. Again, here, Njenje Media agrees with IPOB. There must be a way of restitution. These things cannot be allowed to go unnoticed. If you remember again, Google it. Mazi Ezoke has spent enormous amount of money fighting for these causes because it is believed that we were unjustly hurt. These were youths who were defenseless. They had no arms. They had no ammunitions. They had no machetes. They had no stones. 
Rather, they were only requiring and demanding for a referendum to be, con to be conducted where they can decide if they have to be in Nigeria, under what condition they must be. But rather, the federal government conspired to say that these youth are terrorists and to even go as far as proscribing them, these things must be revisited. IPOP also demanded a federal public apology and adequate compensation to all victims and their families and must in unison bring international diplomatic pressure to bear on the matters rem reminding the Southeast governors that their Northern counterpart had in, in relation to Boko Haram walked the same path against President Jonathan. And it is therefore a precedent for them, even as unsavory as it is. Again, if you remember, before President Buhari came as president, there was a time under General Ihejrika when he was really showing the Boko Haram who controls Nigeria. With all full military might, Boko Haram was about to be run out of business. It was Buhari who was shouting that any attack on Boko Haram is an attack on the north. Suddenly, attacks on IPOB is not attack on the eastern Nigeria that comprises the southeast and the south-south. Do you see the hypocrisy? IPOB continues. You must also demand an apology from the federal government or their armed forces for discrediting the palace of a ranking traditional ruler in Ibolan, which in and of itself is tantamount to discretion of all Igbos, their traditional institutions and sense of what. IPOP accuses police of killing five, arresting 15 members in Imo in an open, in an open event. They went further to say that they demand immediate and unconstitutional delisting of IPOP as a terrorist group and the continuance of all prosecutions of its members recognized their inalienable rights to hold a political opinion, irrespective of how unpopular or otherwise they may be, and allow them to express themselves in peaceful manners and in a peaceful assembly for lawful purposes, including agitating for the right to self-determination and the right to have a referendum. Again, Njenje Media will summarize. Njenje Media believes and supports IPOP in these regards, there must be a way of people who are aggrieved within a union. It is like a marriage. You are not happy within the marriage. You tell your husband, can we please review our marriage? Rather than your husband listening to you to say, my wife, what is wrong? What can I do so that we can rebuild our marriage? Your husband turns around and starts calling you prostitute and terrorist and kick you and kill you. No, this is not slavery. This is freedom. And freedom we shall regain. This is Njenje Media Channel. Subscribe to the channel for more analysis and updates. Remember, like, this is your favorite station, Njenje Media TV. Follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram.